look easy, but this takes years of training. Let's all give her a nice round of applause and appreciation. April 20th, 2000, the son of distorted humor was bred in New York by Windstar Farm, owned by Sakatoka Stable, which was formed by a group of high school friends who wanted to buy a racehorse to, quote, act like big shots and get good parking spaces. <laughs> this chestnut gelding, trained by Barclay Tad, ridden by jockey Jose Santos, made his two-year-old racing debut at Belmont Park on September 8th, 2000. Fun son. Celebrating a birthday on Monday, you can give him a little bit of 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 his sire is Western Hanover, the famous Hanover Shoe Farms of Pennsylvania. Western Dreamer began training as a two-year-old in 1996 and was doing very well, except for some bad stall habits he had. You know, Dreamer was a very nervous horse in the stall. He would kind of bite and savage himself, causing injury. That was no good. But for those reasons, he was gelded. He continued training and completed his 1996 season, showing a lot of potential in, in his 10 races. In November of 1990 at Country Life Farm in Maryland. His sire is the Northern Dancer grandson, Palace Music. His dam is Solar Slough, daughter of the 1977 Triple Crown winner, Seattle Slough. Now this horse was bred to run, but Cigar's knees and hocks were a little bit slow to mature, so he did not start racing until he was three years old. For most thoroughbreds start at two years old. Now if you want to know Cigar's right front shoulder, you'll see a scar. It almost cost him his career. When Cigar was a baby, he ran through a fence with an injury so bad it was doubtful he would race. But race he did. His first trainer actually started him out on the dirt track, but didn't much like what he saw, so he put Cigar on the turf, where he stayed until his four-year-old season when new trainer Bill Mott took over. Cigar was still on the turf, but not doing so well, so Mr. Mott switched him back to the dirt track where a superstar was lurking. Cigar would enjoy a nearly two-year win streak. Cigar raced 10 times in 1995, winning all 10 races, including the Breeders' Cup Classic, completing a perfect season. In 1996, with 13 wins and Horse of the Year and champion older male title to his credit, Cigar flew halfway around the world to the desert sands of Dubai, where he captured the World Cup. As he won that race, he earned the title, the World's Horse. At the Arlington Citation Challenge in July of 1996, Cigar tied the great Citation 16-win record set nearly 50 years before. After a few more races, Cigar was retired to stud. Two months after retirement, he was again named Horse of the Year and champion older male. With a record of 33 starts, 19 wins, earnings just shy of $10 million. In 1997, Cigar began his stallion career at Ashford with a stud fee of $75,000. Not one foal was produced. It was discovered Cigar was sterile. I'm glad he wouldn't be here. 
a $25 million fertility insurance claim was filed and Cigar's new owner became Generali Insurance. Well, Generali decided they wanted Cigar to be somewhere where his fans could love and appreciate him. So in May of 1999, he was sent here and has such a fan base you can believe. Since his retirement, Cigar was voted horse of the decade for the 1990s. And ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at a hero listed as the 18th greatest race horse of the 20th century. Happy birthday, Cigar! The timing is impeccable. All right, now ready for a treat? Cigar is going to enjoy. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. This is Kathy, our bar manager, wants us all to. <laughs> I've never seen a worse They're giving him a piece of cake. Bread. back here petting noses never thought to turn the stupid camera on that's funny side and to his left are um, Kona gold with the star and where'd he go the Haas showing in showing us his tail and they're so quiet you can turn them out together isn't that something